Hi, in this video you'll learn about a conditional probability density function. And then we'll actually use that conditional probability density function to find a probability of y given x. So here's the particular example um, that we're going to look at. Let the random variable x denote the time until a computer server connects to your machine. And let the random variable y denote the time until the server authorizes you as a valid user. Now each of these random variables measure the wait time from a common starting point. And we also are given the information that the random variable y is greater than x. So down here I drew the region of interest for us. We know that both x and y are positive random variables, so both of them are greater than zero. But we're also given the extra condition that y's are greater than x. So I went ahead and drew the line here, uh, y equals x, and we're interested in the area above the line y equals x. That's where this joint probability density function is valid. So here is the joint probability density function. If you want to check to make sure it's valid, just uh, double create a double integral of this over the area of interest, and you'll see that it integrates to 1. OK, now using this joint probability density function, what we'd like to determine is the conditional probability density function for the random variable y, given the random variable x is x. So in probability notation, we're finding f of y given x. And there is a nice definition for this in your textbook. It is the joint density function divided by the marginal density function. Now you might ask which marginal density function we're going to use. Well, y is being conditioned on x. So I don't think it's surprising then that we're going to be dividing by the marginal for x. So uh, this function here, the conditional, is still defined for y greater than x, and down here my x's are positive. So here's what um, the conditional is going to look like. We already have the joint. It's given to us. Unfortunately, we don't have the marginal yet. Um, and in order to determine the marginal, we're going to have to use the joint distribution and integrate over our y's. And let's go ahead and do that on the next page. OK, so again, we're trying to determine the conditional probability density function. And to get that, we need the marginal for x, since we're conditioning on x is x. So f of x, and we've said before, if I'm finding f of x, I actually integrate over my variable y. So for any x's here, my y's are going from this line to infinity. And this line is y equals x. So y's go from x to infinity, and I'm integrating my joint density function. And again, I'm integrating those over my y's. And so when I go ahead and integrate this, I've already done this before um, I started this video, this actually turns out to be an exponential random variable with parameter 0.003, 003x. OK, and this is for x is positive. And so now to find the conditional, we have the marginal, we have the joint, so we're good to go. So uh, f of y of x is equal to the joint f of xy over the marginal. So this was 0.003 e to the negative 0.003x. And I went ahead and divided that out, and I get 0.002 e to the 0.002x minus 0.002y. And we still have the support given as y is greater than x and x is greater than 0. Now in this particular case, since we're finding f of y given x, if we were told that x, let's say, is 1,000, then our y would be bounded below by 1,000. So we're going to be given, imagine, an x, and then y will be, de be defined for y is greater than an x, and we'll actually have um, a definite function here with an x given. So I think to help understand this, I went ahead and continued this problem, um, determine the probability that y exceeds 2,000 given that x is equal to 1,500. So let's find that probability using our now um, conditional probability density function for y given x. 
let's go ahead to the next page to do that. Um, let me write it down here so I don't forget. Y given X is 0.002 e to the 0.002x minus 0.002y for uh, x greater than 0 and y greater than x. All right, so now I want to find uh, the probability that y exceeds 2,000 given that x is 1,500. So let me just write this in probability language. That's the probability that y is greater than 2,000 given x is equal to 1,500. So in order to compute this, I need the probability density function for y given x, which we already have up here. And then I'm just going to integrate this for y is greater than 2,000. So let's go ahead and do this. This is going to be from y 2,000 to infinity um, given x is 1,500. So this is 0 0.002 e to the 0 0.002 times 1500, since we're given this x, um, minus 0 0.002y, and this is going to be dy. Okay, I already went ahead and determined this uh, before I made the video, and this is approximately 0 0.368. Okay, so I think this is a really nice example of finding uh, the conditional probability density function um, given the joint and then finding the marginal. I think a lot of people get nervous when they, they see, you know, a function written as uh, f of y given x, but I think you can see that the definition is defined quite easily as the joint divided by the marginal of the given. And then once you have that conditional probability density function, you can find, use it to find probabilities that are, are conditional. And I hope you see from this example then, once you have that conditional probability density function, it's not hard to find probabilities once you're given that. So I hope this makes sense, and I hope that uh, it's helpful for you to understand um, and understanding a conditional probability density function. All right, thank you, and we'll talk again soon.